Hey guys, this is Jenny. Welcome back to Rainy Day Coloring. Um, so excited to be back. I've not really been around very much. Oh, wait, give me a minute. Just move that a little bit. I haven't been around very much um, this month, and I've missed you guys. I feel like I haven't colored very much. I haven't made very many videos. I haven't even watched that many coloring videos. I know it's very, very sad. So I'm hoping that October um, I will have a little bit more time to put towards my favorite hobby. But... We still have stuff to go over, thank goodness, for September. So for September, um, I had 16 pages that I finished, and I had four buddy colors, so I'll kind of point those out as we go through. Um, I'm already kind of hoping, I'm sort of I'm planning out my goals for October, and I'm hoping to do um, a few more pages, uh, hopefully a few more buddy colors, and one video a week. So putting it into the world, it'll happen. It'll happen, you guys. October is a great month, so there's lots of fun stuff to talk about. Anyway, um, these aren't really in any order, although I do think my color by number at the bottom of the stack, but um, they're not in order of when I made them or anything like that, or when I colored them. Uh, my first picture this month is from Little Witch's Coloring Book by Daisy Joy, and this actually is earlier in the month I posted a video where I participated in Danny Button's scavenger hunt, and I picked out, um, I think she had 11 different things, um, to find pictures of. And I had said in my video, I'm gonna to try to color those this month. So I didn't color all of them, but I colored some. And this picture was from the scavenger hunt and I had picked this as my woodland creature page. So that's what this was in the scavenger hunt. And I might try to kind of hold this, get in a little bit of a glare, but there's a super fun shimmery background from paint. So she was really fun. This is mostly alcohol markers. Um, a little bit of a black, oh gosh, do I have it? I don't have it here, but I have, um, this background is actually this, it's the black version of this Deco Art Glamour Dust paint, which I'm obsessed with, super cute. Anyway, that turned out really fun. I do have one more picture tagged in here, but it is not started yet. And that's because it's a buddy color that I am, will be starting in the next couple days. So you should see that finish at the end of September. Okay, let's see what else we have, okay. Next, we have Jade Summer's Cute Witches. This um, came out in grayscale, which was very exciting. Um, I was so excited to get it and get a grayscale. And this picture also was one that, oh, you know what? This picture was two things. This picture was from the Danny Buttons Cavern Scavenger Hunt where we were supposed to find a picture with witches. And it was also a buddy color with Danny Buttons. <laughs> so here's this one. Aren't they just adorable? I feel like they turned out really cute. They're a little shimmery fire. Um, I'm trying to remember what all I used for this. I think I used, I think I posted it on Instagram. Um, alcohol markers and then that sparkle was just one of those Spectrum Noir uh, sparkle pens. But I really liked how it has like a little bit of a red tint and I liked how that looked with it. Oh, and then gel pen, of course. So there's those cuties. Let's see, next we have, oh, this was um, a labor of love. This was a buddy color with the lovely Pebbles from Pebbles Adult Coloring. Um, and I should have said, I'm sure you guys all know Danny, Danny Button, she's on YouTube and Instagram. And Pebbles also is on YouTube and Instagram. And we picked a picture from Secret Guarded by Johanna Basford. Uh, finally been getting into this in the last couple months. We did this owl guy. In this background um this was so much fun this took forever i am incredibly slow especially when it comes to colored pencils i just cannot go fast um at all um but it was really fun i think um it's so silly but like some of my favorite things about this are that uh posca pen background um which was just a black paint posca pen and then how like, I love how you can use the white gel pen to date it and it's like a cute pop. I don't know you guys, it's the little things, right? But yeah, so that was really fun. Um, colored pencils, gel pens, Posca paint pens, some Gamma Saw to help with blending, which I felt like was pretty, was fun, fine. Um, and these nice thick pages, so there's that. I really like how that owl turned out, it's super cute. Next I have, this is Hannah Lynn's, um, Whimsy Girls Through the Decades. You guys have all seen this, of course. This was also a September buddy color that I did early in the month with um, Meg over at Meg's Art a Trio. 
Did I pronounce it better this time? I'm going to link her down below. She doesn't have a YouTube yet, but um, she has an awesome Instagram and she is um, an amazing, an amazing illustrator coloring. And we did Baseball Betty. So here she is. Now this was actually like way back September 6th. I'm trying to remember what I even used for this and I am having trouble remembering. Certainly alcohol marker, um, gel pen. What's this? Is that? I almost think this is, I almost think this is like a Crayola Twistables. The colored pencil, not the Twistable color crayon and then I think this was um that background was uh some pastels I think it's hard to remember okay super fun next oh I should show you I do have one more you might see this other purple tag this is an example of something else I found for that scavenger hunt which was a hot beverage and I just didn't get to color it that this um, past month I actually really love this one and I think I might put this in my two to be colored pile for October Next I have, this is 50 Lovely Gnomes by Camellia Angel Cova. And in this, what did I do this with? Oh, that's right. I did one of my pictures that was from the scavenger hunt again. So the scavenger hunt said hat. This was kind of funny. I did this relatively early in the month, but I really wanted to get this like Christmas feel to this with the green and the red. Um, I used some more of that paint in the background, gel pens, alcohol markers, a um, little bit of uh, stickles and yeah. Just super fun. I don't know what, because, oh, clearly I forgot to, this is a great example. I didn't even realize this. Clearly when I went to the bottom, I forgot to have my paper in between the two pages. And look, oopsie. But that's okay, because here's what you can do. It's a super cute page, and it's, I feel strongly, not ruined. Because if we go back over this with some different alcohol colors, we'll be fine. You could even play that. Oh, yeah, that'll be fine. Okay. Anyway, oops, that's what happens, you guys. So, uh, yeah, really happy with how this came out. Um, I'm not great with skin, and I feel like this one I was trying to do, like, more shading, even though it was, like, the most basic shading, and it was really fun. So, happy with that, guy. Next we have, this is uh, Deborah Muller, or, I'm sorry, Deborah Muller's um, big yoga coloring book. And this one, I did two pictures out of this month. It was my first time coloring in this book, so that was really fun. And I did two uh, buddy colors with Misty over at, um, on YouTube, she's Country Gals Coloring Page. And on Instagram, she's Country NCC, I think. We did two in here, so let's open these up. Here's number one. Our little enlightened lady. Isn't she fun? So this was, um... I think for this I actually used, I used a mix of gel pens, colored pencils, and I think I went with like a, maybe it was just a King Art water-based marker. Some water, I know I was using water-based markers in this to try to give my alcohol <laughs> markers a breather. And we also did this Ohm Girl. Isn't she fun? So these were super fun to do. They're very zen doodly. Um, if anyone wants to do a uh, buddy color in this book, I would love to, just because I really enjoy this book, but I think I'm going to be going so heavy towards seasonal books the next couple months that if you want a buddy color, well, I'll buddy color anything, to be honest, but I'd love to buddy color. Lots of stuff. So this one is, I'm like covering it. I was, was doing, trying to do a no buy until my birthday, and um, I've been pretty good. Specifically, it was no buy books, although I was trying to not buy supplies. I did end up buying some Sakura jelly rolls. I also ended up buying some, um, like a little, an organizer for my stickers, because I'm in the sticky, the monthly sticky club where you get stickers in the mail. Um, which is, anyone is ever interested, I know there's like tons of YouTube things, but I'm happy to show those on here. I'm just, it's not really coloring, it's stickers. Um, but I was at, this is so obscure, Dollar Tree last week, and I, a lot of people find coloring books at their Dollar Trees that they love. I have a hard time finding ones. I don't even think I've actually bought one for me before there. But they had this Stressless Coloring um, Mandela's book, which is actually, it's all Shutterstock. And there's not even that many, really. But I just thought, um, I don't know, the quality of the paper I really liked. I thought it might be fun. It's like kind of thick. I thought it might be fun to try, try new things with it. Anyway. I did a super quick and easy one. 
um, just a few days ago. And this was with, um, the colors don't look super seasonal. I actually went to um, Pinterest and picked out a color palette that I liked. And I kind of went from there. It also included light gray. And originally, which I think gray would have looked gorgeous with this, which originally I was going to fill in kind of those white parts with the gray. And I'd been thinking a lot how Danny at Danny Buttons had mentioned that like she will selectively, if she wants to, leave parts of her mandalas blank and not colored in. And now I feel like this, I feel like this legit look like this feels like what it should look like. I feel like it's complete and I didn't color in all that white space. So it's definitely something, oh sorry, I think that just rocked a little bit, but I'm gonna be playing around with a little bit more and seeing if I like leaving white space. I don't do mandalas all that often, so we'll see when it'll happen um, again, but speaking of Danny Buttons, um, she's the best and I got this. This was my very first Happy Mail and it's Halloween Horror by Color Crystopia and it's amazing. I know you guys have all seen this by now. They just announced this morning that they're now doing a version with, mine is the one with the, the blank white lines and they're doing one where it comes with those lines already filled in black. I personally love Color Crystopia because I love to go gel pen. In fact, I have a work in project, work in progress you can see. I love this part. I love spending time really slowly going over those lines with gel pen. But there's definitely something to be said for if it's all blacked in and just focusing on the coloring part. I just personally enjoy that. So anyway, something to think about. But I think I did five pages in here this month and I I don't even know when I got it. Now the way I do color crestopias is I like to just start at the front and go towards the back. Um, I love generally like I love all the images in here and I it's a book that I want to do everything so I I just go from the start so here we go here we have our little pumpkins and bats super cute what a great first page now when you start at the beginning you're definitely going to have this bleed through which is where the colors for the next page are listed um, on video it's very hard to read those colors I find in real life it's not that challenging and I I'm a weirdo that likes that kind of reverse <laughs> image, but you can do it whichever order you want. Here's our next, which is a graveyard. I think starting here, I occasionally would mix up, would mix, would not follow this 100% because a lot of these pages were saying like a sky blue background and I just really wanted to keep it darker and spookier in my mind. Here's our um, killer scarecrow pumpkin man. Hers, this is like my least favorite page. This haunted house that doesn't look very scary, does it? But it's okay, you guys. It's a process. And then the last for the month is our little pumpkin wizard. So cute. So these are pick. These are pages that I love to do, like while um, you know watching TV late at night. Um, they're definitely like low stress and and just a fun thing for me. So I'm gonna put this here, and at the end of the month we'll see how many. I believe there's 20 images in the book. And so far I have five, wait, or six. I would love to do this whole book by Halloween. Um, I don't know if that's gonna happen. Maybe I'll do 10 pictures for October. I don't know. It's just, it's really fun, you guys. <laughs> I'm really enjoying it. Now, before my Halloween horror came in the mail, um, I was still working on my cactus and succulent coloring book by Color Crestopia, which I feel like now this is probably going to be on the back burner for a few months. I'm so sorry. This was the same I had showed you last month. I was just going through from the beginning. And this was sort of a fun one because I was really getting a kick out of using like brighter colored gel pens and um, or like this is like a pink and just kind of seeing how that looked. But for September, I have just two. This one. I know some people are concerned that this book is like, oh my gosh, would you get, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> sick of the color green. And I have to say, I feel like they include so, there's so much variety in this book. I mean, look at this page. I feel like it's a super cool scene and succulents aren't even overpowering it. So, um, I don't know. I, I personally love this book. This is a book that I will certainly color every page in, um, but it'll probably wait for a few months now. And then my last image for the month was, this was another one from the, um, uh, gosh, what was I going to say? From the uh, scavenger hunt that Danny had. And in this, her bonus was a place you wish you could be. And I said that I wanted to be um, by the ocean. Um, 
in a boat would be nice with a dolphin. And so this was the, oh, I got a little stuck on here. So this was the page I did for this. This was a very simple and very quick page. It was purely alcohol. Uh, actually, I can't remember what color they asked this to be. Maybe it was supposed to be white. And I did go, I ended up using a white Posca pen because, um, I don't know. It doesn't bother me seeing the numbers, but when there's a number attributed to a part that's supposed to be white, and then you can see that number and there's no marker over it, no, nah, it's just not a cup of tea. So that is a Posca pen um, in white, but the rest is is just alcohol marker. Yeah, so that was kind of fun. And I don't think I mentioned what this is from. This is another Deborah Muller book, and this is her Zen Doodle Color by Number Stained Glass. So we've, I've done a couple on that so far. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm gonna try super hard to get some more content out for you guys this month. And and I'm just hoping that I can also spend more time uh, hanging out in the community. Um, I've really, really enjoyed making friends and having people who are into coloring that I get to uh, hang out with. And you wanna know the best news, if, you, if you're here to the end, you'll get this part. Um, my family, we live in Washington and we quarantine with two other families and we all have kids and it's, we have this whole thing going. It's, it's lovely. And one of my friends that I'm quarantined with has come to the dark light side of coloring and she's gotten into it. It's so cool. She, um, has a couple color by number books she's been working on. Um, I got her into Hoo alcohol markers and she ordered her first set of that. And so I'm so excited because I do have like one real life friend now that I can color with. Well, my sister I can color with too. So I have two real life friends that are into coloring. So big news around these parts, you guys. All right, I hope everyone is staying healthy and safe and just, gosh, trying to stay as sane as we all can. Things are crazy right now, right? Um, I hope everybody's well though. Talk to you later, bye.